Hi everyone. With this video, we're going to start discussing and learning about polarity. Now, when we say polarity, what we're talking about is the direction that current is traveling or the direction that electricity is flowing. Now, first, I want you to think of a battery. It doesn't matter what type of battery, just think of the first one that pops into your mind. Now, each battery, no matter what type it is, is going to have a side that's positive and a side that is negative. When we put these batteries into devices that require some kind of power in order to be used, the flow of current must exit one side of the battery and it's going to flow through the wires of that device. It's going to supply power to the device so that way you can use it. And then that same current is going to keep flowing through the wires and it's going to return to the battery from the opposite side. This is something that we call a circuit. Uh, now, when current is able to flow, this is a closed circuit, meaning that it's completed. When you hit the off switch, it turns into an open circuit. So there is resistance to the flow of current. And so power is not going to be able to flow through the wires. But we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Let's keep talking about polarity. Now, when we select polarity in welding, we are essentially telling the machine what direction we want the current to travel. Sometimes we can achieve this with a push of a button. Sometimes we have to rotate a switch. And sometimes we have to rearrange how our welding cables are attached to the machine. It all just depends on what kind of machine we're using to weld. Now, there are two main types of polarity direct current and alternating current. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is direct current. Now, indirect current, electricity or current flows in one direction and one direction only. And when we're using direct current, the electricity always flows from the negative terminal to the positive terminal. Now, here is where direct current can get broken down into two more subcategories. There is direct current electrode positive and there is direct current electrode negative. And we're going to start by discussing direct current electrode positive. So starting with direct current electrode positive. Before we start going over the ins and outs of direct current electrode positive, let's just identify some of the objects that we have here in our, our diagram. Starting in the upper left, this object we see here is going to represent a welding machine. So we see a little screen that reads out our amperage, another little readout for voltage. We have our dial here that is gonna allow us to um, set our variables and then we have a terminal that is labeled positive and then we have another terminal that's labeled negative. Now let's start with the negative terminal. If we follow this we see that there's a cable attached and the cable leads to our ground clamp. So this is going to be our ground cable. Now the ground cable and ground clamp can be attached to the table that you're working on it can also be attached to whatever piece of metal that you're welding for a better ground. Now if we double back and start again with the positive terminal and we follow that cable, we see that it's attached to our electrode holder and there is an electrode in the electrode holder and it's got an active weld welding arc. So this is what we're going to call a closed circuit. Now a closed circuit is where current can continuously flow from the power source to whatever cable is attached into the workpiece through the welding arc back into the opposite cable and into the opposite terminal. So one more time, a closed circuit is a circuit that allows current to flow continuously and if we were to extinguish this welding arc or essentially flipping the off switch, we are creating an open circuit. 
So an open circuit has a break which prevents the flow of current. But enough of that. Let's, let's keep on moving. Now, when we think of direct current as a general polarity, remember, current flows in one direction and one direction only. And in direct current, the power flows from the negative to the positive and only from the negative to the positive. Now this is where things can get a little confusing at first, but let's go back to the name, direct current electrode positive. We want to focus here on the electrode positive. What this is basically telling us is that our electrode cable is going to be hooked into the positive terminal. Now if our electrode cable is attached to the positive terminal, then that means our ground clamp is going to be attached to the negative. So it's all in the name. Focus on where the electrode is attached to. Electrode positive, it's hooked into the positive, which means our ground clamp is hooked into the negative. Now if current can only flow in one direction, in one direction only, from negative to positive, that's where these arrows come into play. They are showing us the direction that current is flowing. So current is going to begin at the welding machine. It's going to exit the negative terminal into the ground clamp and it's going to travel along. It's going to enter the work table, enter the workpiece. It's going to enter the welding arc into the electrode the electrode holder and the electrode cable and it's going to travel back to the machine. Now with this polarity direct current electrode positive or DCEP for short we need to talk about the heat distribution of the welding arc. Now when the current is flowing up and into the electrode this puts the focus of current on the electrode. So that means there is more heat being focused on the electrode. So with DCEP or direct current electrode positive, two thirds of the heat from the welding arc is being focused on the electrode. That leaves the other third of the heat from the weld is being focused on the workpiece. So remember that two thirds of the heat is on the welding electrode and one third of the heat is on the workpiece. Now another name for direct current electrode positive is direct current reverse polarity. This is a term that not too many people use anymore but it is still out there and I want you to be familiar with it but the new term for this polarity is direct current electrode positive. And so let me go ahead and switch frames here. And this kind of gives us a more live view at how current travels from the negative terminal through our cables and the welding arc and back to the welding machine. So just take a few moments to look at this. Just to, com just to commit it to memory that with direct current electrode positive, the current flows from the negative into our ground clamp through whatever it is that we're welding on and into our electrode cable and back to the welding machine. And remember, that two-thirds of the heat are going to be focused on the welding electrode and one-third of the heat is going to be focused on the workpiece. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.